I got the keys from the landlord. Two points for diplomacy. Hey, he sounds no very baby. proud of that. <laughs> she mentioned that Longmore was going to move out can you blame of the month. What are we looking for? Anything that can tell us why this guy was killed. So just shine your torch in the corner there. Yeah, it's good work. <laughs> Doesn't seem used much. He must get a lot of takeout. Or he, he cleans it. Yeah. <laughs> the tea. I What's assume tea is train. To this thing? Yes, it's the same train that, um, what's in it? Robert's wife There's was... There's only one picture decorating the uh, entire Rob world. took the day his wife this died. This fits the lonely yeah. profile, all right. I bet this is his mother. Oh, that's not very nice. Tacky. I'm looking at his computer setup. He's got three monitors there, but they're not actually next to each other. Found something? Maybe. Yes. Very weird. <laughs> Maybe. What are Found a you compartment. hiding? <laughs> Let me get down there for you. <gasps> Always a gentleman. <laughs> that was really, really weird. All right, give me some time to go through this. Go through what? You haven't even opened <laughs> it yet. <laughs> what? Just stroking the floor inappropriately. These look like pieces of the same picture. Who is this person? Yeah, because just asking is going to help. And I gotta say, th I did not solve this myself. Uh, the sire in the thread suggested that this was going to be a code for something, and when I saw the safe in this room, I thought, ah, uh, yep, they were right. That's exactly what it is. If you sort it by she's my next victim, then you get the code for the safe. Yeah, yeah that would kind of work, I suppose. Why you do it like that, I don't know. I like how the safe doesn't give you any indication that you've entered the right code. What is all that? Let's look at it. Hmm. This file has info on three different women, all from Memphis. And things in here. A candy wrapper, a few long strands of hair, a long handwritten dialogue between one of the women and someone else. The women's names are Carolyn Palmer, Mega Martha, and Beth Williams. Do you have to read through each one of these and then remember? This is our oh, guy, Longmore. <laughs> You don't have to remember it, but yeah. Let's see. But that's the problem with this like game. You have to remember so many random Memphis. things. How do you know what he you're going to need? Every few days. Yeah, I mean, so much. List of all the it's difficult, because I imagine they don't want to make it too easy, like saying, here's a clue, you should remember this clue. But, yeah. There are three women profiled in this folder, all from New York. It's full of little I think notes, you should be able to use your psychic powers to sort of where they dig ate, through. Clothes they wore most frequently. If you're going to have that sort of thing. The three you know? women's names yeah. are Janelle Katona, Emily Carlson, and Nadia Schwartz. I'll look at those other cases in more detail later. I want to focus on the case at hand, and I think I have all the info I need with the Boston profiles. Damn it, this was right under my nose. No, it wasn't. How was it right under her nose? Sarah Goodman, Amy it's Lewis. Right under her nose, right now. <laughs> I know Sarah and Amy. Now it is. So does that mean that Elizabeth was already? Oh, damn it! She was before Sarah. There are notes in here on them. Tons of details. Today I brushed up so close I was able to smell her. What? What is this? Creepy loner who sniffs women. Elizabeth. And then kills him. Yep. Looks like Longmore had a pretty detailed fantasy life with you. Lots of notes on it. He knew where you lived, too. Hmm. 730 Joy Street. Another detail Looks we don't like need to remember. For some time, Amy. <laughs> Address is at 1170 Melrose. This is the one that's not a surprise. Sarah. Murdered in her house at 514 Chestnut Street. Oh, maybe I'm just exhausted right now, but sometimes this shit gets to me. Yeah, murdered women. Yeah. 
<laughs> Sully, call someone in the department and find more on these women. You got it. Hey, Martin. Yeah, I need you to look a few things over for me. Yeah, I have a couple of names for you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right, okay, the first one... Thank God it fades yeah. to black okay, and we don't we have to listen to the whole call. These women were all suicides, except for Emily Carlson in New York. They never caught the killer, but it was an obvious murder. The third woman in New York, Nadia Schwartz, hasn't been reported as missing or dead. All are dead. Sully, Anthony Longmore was a killer. You think? What's our evidence? <laughs> All of this! <laughs> those women from the safe are his victims. He took those photographs. And he's been doing it for years, until someone stopped him last night. He was in Tennessee first, and then in New York. He killed these women, and he had a pattern. And as this conversation goes on, free. if you I get know. any of the dialogue Two wrong, reasons. you have to go back to the start and do it all again. Oh, great. Yeah. The whole conversation. And <laughs> he's killed three so, victims in every state You do have to remember crap. Look at the boxes. Yeah. You mentioned the Most of it's like pretty much here, like ready to go on it's to obvious the which is the correct answer. But yeah. All the time. It is annoying. But what happened in New so York? basically, this Why sort of game you have to be fairly so alive. You do have to pay a little bit of attention. It, I guess it's fine, but case, with all the other things in this game, it just makes him. it sound he not worth it. Yeah, there's so Denver, many red herrings, and the then just random it's things clear, that you have to remember. Yeah. How? He met them through public transportation. He worked there. That's what he targeted How? his victims. I... I used yeah. to catch public transport a lot, yeah, and I managed to right. not really meet anyone. <laughs> what, you didn't talk to the night, train station janitors all the time? No, oh, mysteriously. Then I didn't even know if our stations got cleaned. Question. And why did they send clues to Pretty sure they didn't, but... And to me. This is a hell of a mind screw. We gotta keep looking. Hmm, trying to keep PG rating. Yeah. For some reason. In this game about horrific murders, yeah, I can't say fuck. Yeah. So that's it. From what I understand, pl police don't tend to swear too much. Tools. Lots of rope. So they don't come off too I'm aggressive and that sort of thing. Maybe in front this. of other people, but I, hello, I would think hello. just with other police they would. No, chatting to a friend of mine who worked there, that no one does it even at the workplace because it, then it just becomes habit otherwise. Well, it becomes yeah, habit. Fair enough. Yeah. It's from something called a Le Pondu? She still acts like she can't pronounce that. Yeah. I got it. It's all together now. There are some letter sliders here. Oh, God. Yeah. And the email that was sent to Davies had that picture of the guy and it said he repented. Uh huh. So that's your clue here. There we go. I should be able to move the letters now. Uh, okay. And you can't turn the letters until you've done the key. I don't know why the doll needs to be in it to make it work, but... Uh, it seems fit yeah, you, you couldn't do anything with it until it's complete. I like how these guys are wearing uh, gloves. Yes! <laughs> like, just like they did at the other crime scene. <laughs> Fingerprint bypass. What do I do now? Oh, it's a mystery. <laughs> and of course, using this projector with the fingerprint scanned into it will somehow work on the fingerprint reader. Okay, let's try this. I was going to say, if this guy's this worried and he has a fingerprint scanner, surely he has a password and RNA key or something like that, uh, RSA key. There we go. Oh, you'd think he would have more than this, but no, apparently he thought the fingerprint scanner was good enough. And he's got his monitors all set to duplicate, so he's yes. not even using them. <laughs> okay. And that again is the guy who 
was pictured in the email to Davies. Who the hell is sending me these? This no one sent it to you. You're looking at someone else's computer. Is yeah. Samuel Why is... was one of six judges that sentenced 19 <laughs> men and women in the Salem witch trials in Salem, Massachusetts. Of all the judges, he was the only one who later repented, taking all of the blame and shame for the sins he had committed by sentencing the innocent people to death by hanging. So we have to the sit here and listen to her read this through, or can you click through this? On how the power of governmental agencies uh, can you, you can skip most of the dialogue, I'm not sure if this bit you can or not, but and whom they are sworn to you can probably skip it. Had Samuel Sewell and his fellow judges investigated the cases further, I'd get to this point and, and just go, okay, I just need to put his surname in. The whole yeah, that's that's the password, is just his memory name. Card? Okay. What? Why are we inserting a memory card? Because this is ridiculously elaborate puzzles. <laughs> are we sure this is not Jigsaw or something? I've definitely got that vibe. But no, the jigsaw ripoff is the um, is the cane killer. Oh. There are some letter sliders. This guy's more of a Riddler ripoff. <laughs> where do you, how do you know where to start? Because uh, each one's only got like three oh, letters okay. you can choose from, so there's like really only one way you can actually do it. Uh, when playing this, was the mouse? It looks very um, imprecise and clunky. Eh, it's it's not too bad. It's just some of the hot spots you have to click on are very precise, though. Yeah. And there's a memory card for some reason. What's this? It's a memory card. It... <laughs> she answered her own question. <laughs> she went to all that trouble to get a memory card. Yeah, which I'm pretty sure once you had that bottom piece, you could have seen that there was a uh, like a compartment in it and just, you know, leave it open with a screwdriver. Yeah, or broken the bloody thing in half. It... Let's see what happens. What game do you want me to play now? This is an annoying puzzle. You have to match up this symbol with some of the dots on the screen. Uh huh. Oh yeah, that that wouldn't um, be frustrating at all. Yeah. And. Like, it doesn't give you any real indication of this, but, like, yeah, one of them is not even on a dot, because it's showing you where the well, this yep. next location is. That's it. Hey, isn't that... See, and that'd be alright the if the next location it was, like, on the yeah. long... What's one of the long arms. Sully, look yeah, at well, this. just the right-hand side for some reason. Ago, Samuel Sewell repented in the Old South Meeting House for atrocities he once helped alone. Tonight, someone new will take the blame and shame. There's something loading. As long as it's not a bomb. This message will self-destruct <laughs> in five seconds. Just drop it, you ass. <laughs> we make a good team, don't we? No, you haven't done yeah. anything. <laughs> You're not really looking at the screen either. You're just about to make out, that's all. Shit, Sully, it's Davies. She's a target. What the fuck? How do you know? I, I can't... Trust me on this. We gotta get to the meeting house now. Move it. Has he even been paying attention? <laughs> yeah. But... I... We're pulling in right now. Erica, wait for backup. John, Davies could be in there. Last Did you time you didn't wait for backup. He died. No one's so. heard from her all day. Get your ass here quick. We're pulling in. I'm on my way. What's the plan? Check out the bell tower up front. I'll head into the main building hall from the side door. Be careful. You too. Uh, 
it's interesting that they're saying that Davies is sort of to blame for this, but she's just a bad cop rather than, well, not a bad yeah. cop, just an incompetent sort of cop, not maliciously. Yeah, kind of lazy. She's not corrupt. Yeah. Oh, shooting gallery. This sounds fun. Uh, you just... Ugh, no good. <laughs> Construction stuff. <laughs> yeah, construction stuff. What is this thing? I don't know. <laughs> A virtual presenter. That damn presenter thing gave me up. What? Some kind of weird hologram thing, I guess. <laughs> to stay undercover. He's got a better vantage point. He's He'll also see. got a lot of bullets, apparently. Oh, yeah. That's too far away. Come on, just turn on the presenter and then jump across. Wait, why is our yeah. gun on the floor? Because that guy shot it out of our hand, somehow. And it's still operational. Okay. Who the hell is shooting at me? The Riddler. <laughs> she does seem to be saying all this out loud, which... She says everything out loud. <laughs> she doesn't know how to think without speaking. <laughs> Just show your badge, that'll work. Turn on the presenter and jump across. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, that is the solution. Oh, got it. Plug in the power supply? Yeah, you had to st there, <laughs> stick your whole head around. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, here we go. This will be interesting. Construction stuff. They're called bricks, Erica. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently they're way smaller than the ones we can see. <laughs> that won't work there. You can't just chuck a brick at him, unfortunately. <laughs> FBI, drop your weapon. Uh, worth a shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's too far away. I want to see what. Oh, lob the brick at the thing. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. I didn't think of it at first that because it's it. really dumb. You'd think it would just break. Yeah, because it looks like it's just glass and. Yep. There's too much crap there. I need to get to the other side. What? Oh. Yeah, I... You mean that stuff? There's too much crap there. <laughs> Those I planks that you could sort of hide behind side. and... Yeah, I guess that's what's blocking... I don't know how, but sure. Let's try this. How did that work? <laughs> that should not have worked. <laughs> Maybe there's some sort of sensor there. And... Aha, that should make things a little more even. Why? Oh no, the light, it burns! <laughs> yeah. Oh, now we got to reselect our gun because. Oh, tell me we're not shooting a chandelier. Oh, oh yep. Yeah. And for some reason, we have to do this more than once. When you shoot the chandelier, the light goes out, and you have to do it again. Why are we shooting the chandelier again? Well, it doesn't look like it, there but it's is. directly above the guy. <laughs> so, probably killing him, as opposed to just killing him. Also, it does a stupid thing where you have to, like, aim, but it's not really aiming, you just have to click anywhere on the thing. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Shake the lamp. <laughs> I, there it is. I've got it. I've got the solution here. Why do you have to do it three times? Yeah, it makes no you sense. Know, twice? Okay, but three times you sort of just end up going. Oh well, I must yeah, have done I'm, the wrong I'm done thing now. I've I've done it. I know the answer. We don't or, need to carry on with this, do we? Or it is, you know, you go. Maybe I've got to do something else and spend time back yeah. around. 
Oh, four times, sorry. Four times. <laughs> like, you can't miss or anything. Or can you? Well, I wasn't clicking what? very accurately and I didn't miss. It's a vision, Erica. <laughs> so this guy's a space Nazi. He's the Riddler. Exactly what happened Suspect there? The run. Brown coat, brown hat, and what? And I found babies. Jesus. Yeah. So instead of spending all your time shooting at that chandelier, you could have just shot the suspect. Yeah. <laughs> also, Erica is terrible at saving people. Yeah. She's zero for two now. <laughs> Maybe the way they get new cop, uh, field cop positions is by dead man's boots, so. <laughs> yeah, so she'll be the boss now. So we didn't actually solve anything. No, we solved nothing. One serial killer killed another serial killer, and two serial killers got away. Yeah, so we're not doing well. <laughs> I think when it comes becomes poor performance review time, Eric is not going to be doing well. Oh, we'll be fine because her boss is dead. Who's her <laughs> <to> performance? <laughs> or maybe John. The new boss comes in. <laughs> What's John going to say? <laughs> He's been sitting behind a desk the whole time. He hasn't done anything. <laughs> Maybe Eric is trying to get suspended so she can solve the big case. <laughs> we all know that's how it works. You get suspended and then... Yeah. Ah, but who would she give her badge and gun to? Because her boss just died. <laughs> she could give it to John. And of course, this music is again the Scarlet Furies. Oh, that's good. I, I think she's a better singer than she is a um, voice actor, or maybe just quite poorly directed. Yeah. Uh, just so they've gone. Hey, just record yourself saying these things, and she's gone. Uh, do I get any context? No, no, you don't need that. It's okay. It'll come out fine. We'll get it in post. And she's gone, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I think you got to blame the writing as well, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and it's like a movie. How cool. Yeah. Additional PR. <laughs> <laughs> they even have a HR department. That seems a bit excessive. Well, it seems excessive to be crediting them. VP of Sales. Why are they credited? <laughs> Special thanks. Ahaha, <laughs> ahaha, Oh dear. Yep, that's a lot of thanks. Yeah. Oh yes, and it's a Kickstarter thing, so of course you've got all the backers listed. Oh, excellent. I imagine there's quite a few. Well, we're on the A's, so... Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a lot of people.
I wonder how they feel about this game. <laughs> I've never understood why you would want to get your name in the credits of something like this, because you would be literally the only person who will ever notice it's there, because no one's reading this shit. No. It's like, some games you sit there and you go, I'm going to watch all the credits because this is a great game and I owe it to just sit here and watch some text go up. But you never actually read it. You know. Oh, well, some games actually put interesting things behind the credits. Yeah. <laughs> like, they could have put some outtakes or they could have put some, you know, concept art or something. Yeah, but you could also point out that some games put interesting content into the game as well. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fact. <laughs> I get the feeling we're very harsh to this game, but I also feel like this game deserves it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely... You can see that it, that, that it had potential. It could have been good. It had some good ideas... But, yeah, it just... I think they overextend themselves a bit. Yeah. Possibly that is just a Kickstarter issue where you get that with a lot of Kickstarter things where they decide, we're going to make this. And then they get funded and they go, oh, maybe we could just uh, extend that and make it better. Uh, yeah, a bit of They never seem to like, factor in yeah. how much more effort that is going to be. Yeah, it, it's sort of like um, they, someone had a bit of an idea for writing and someone had a bit of an idea for coding and that sort of stuff and they've gone, oh, we'll do this and this and this, but not actually going, well, we don't actually know that much about this, so what, what do we need to learn to do this? I think the main problem with this one, though, was that someone needed to watch some Law and Order just to get a basic understanding of how police work. Well, maybe they did watch Law and Order, and they've just watched one, and gone, yeah, that's it, okay, all right, gotcha. And they just happened to watch a particularly bad episode. Yeah, that's it. One where some new... everything on it. <laughs> they, look, they watched one of the very first ones, or something like that from... The top press says go, you don't ask questions. Just finding me isn't good enough. What? I found Scott, I found Davey. And I was too late to save either of them. Please, just talk to me, Dad. Wise Monkey is your case now, Agent Reed. Okay. Let's see what you've got. Uh, just random voice clips from the next game. I, I couldn't work out if they were meant to string together or not. It just seemed like at the beginning they did, and then they just didn't. Yeah. So that was cognition. Well, that was Cognition Episode 1. How Still many got epi three episodes to go. <laughs> three episodes, oh god. And, and, and I, I should say, all the power to them for actually getting out there and doing what they dream to do. I, I'm hoping I, the next one... Look at one's this. A... Look. Gallery. I click that. There's nothing here. I don't know what you... <laughs> like, you can't even look at the cinematics. There's no behind the scenes. What? What is this? Well, all the AAA games have this, and obviously we're making a AAA game, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, is there something you were meant to do to unlock that that I didn't do? I... <laughs> As it turns out, you didn't care that much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not going to bother looking up how to get to the gallery. It's not nope. worth it. <laughs> Nothing good is going to come of that. And you know what? You could probably just... Bung it into Google and get the pictures, or into your yeah. tubes and get it from there. <laughs> yep. So we've solved no cases, we've let Don't two worry. serial killers go, and that's about it. So yeah, good job, uh, Erica. Well, yeah, we seem to be doing quite well, um, all that effort. Yeah, uh, I really feel like a cop now. I think I could go out and do cop things. Um, Even with psychic powers. Yeah. It took all that to just figure out that the dead guy was a serial killer when someone literally told us. We couldn't even figure it out for ourselves. Yeah. We had someone else stringing us along the whole time who apparently yeah. knows that we're a, ser uh, a psychic. Yeah. Or just assumes that we're mad. 
Yeah, well. But, yeah, and also, what was the deal with that Cordelia being at the Kane Killer crime scene? Like, we, that came up in that flashback. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just never mentioned again. No, because that's obviously not going to be important. I guess it's going to come up later, but <laughs> seems like a very ham fisted way to introduce that. Yeah, I felt it would have been important in this one, because if it's going to be important in three episodes' time... Look, let's be honest, I don't remember what happened in the first recording we did. So, if, if we're referencing this again, I'm going to have to go back and rewatch it. <laughs> <laughs> so, even, even if I was playing this, I would not remember. Well, yeah, it was just Cordelia, the woman in the graveyard, was there when Erica's brother died. That's yeah. all we learned there. I don't... I don't know what relevance that has. Yeah, I can't really add anything because I haven't played the other ones. Nor, no. <laughs> no. Nor do I think we will get me to play them. I think it's probably best to let you do it. Uh, yes, I'll suffer.